This program is brought to you by the Shamit Diner, a New Bedford institution since 1954. And by MenuJoy.com. We show restaurant menus. You browse, you decide. The theater you're, you're, uh, you're going to perform in is about 100 years old, old vaudeville theater. It's become our performing arts center. So I'm sure here is going to really... Uh, knock everybody's, uh, I guess, more than socks off. Right? So it should, it should be fun, interesting. You know, hair was looked at as a contemporary type of uh, uh, almost, almost uh, uh, commercial type of uh, uh, play to uh, capitalize on the whole idea of a hippie movement, which people really didn't understand a heck of a lot. You know, so it was an instant, put it on the stage and, and uh, see if people come. It was very popular, but I think people didn't really, you know, didn't think about it as a, a play that had staying power or would resurface, and then I see it resurfaced a few years ago, and, you know, I don't believe, we've never had hair in the city before. Never. Right? This is... Yeah, so, yeah. it's an interesting, you know, interesting little play, and, and you all look like uh, you'll do, uh, you know, extremely well. The thing is that, that during this period of time, I mean, there, there, were, there were hippies, and then there were, there were quasi-hippies, and then there were kids who still were... Uh, literally living uh, in, in the uh, 50s, early 60s. So it was a very interesting mix. The 60s were very, uh, uh, very pivotal, you know, in, in uh, U.S. evolution, had an awful lot of uh, uh, important, important uh, events happen, a lot of, a lot of uh, terrible violence, you know, change of government by assassination. Um, you know, the Vietnam War certainly dominated uh, the uh, the you know the the decade and uh, you know the Vietnam War we're just revisiting now to try and figure out exactly how it fits in to uh, you know American uh, strategic interests how it fit in what it meant and I, I can tell you now that the the feeling around the country about the Vietnam War now is much different than it was today and and when I say that I mean that the Vietnam uh, veterans are revered in our communities when they when they were fighting and when they came home they weren't you know they were looked at as part of the problem rather than our sons and daughters who uh, were following you know the American uh, government's policy so it's 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 interesting I would think to uh, uh, look back at hair when it was written look back at being it being uh, you know performed today and how the country's attitude has changed about a lot of things so um, I'd be interested in seeing the play tonight I'm looking forward to it So here we are at the Shaman Diner. Uh, I definitely came here many times throughout my youth with my family. Um, then I went off to college and I wanted to tour the diner breakfast circuit. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big creature of habit, I have to say. I always tend to get my classic uh, sandwich that has sausage, egg, and cheese on it. So did that at college. Then I graduated, came back home, and then I thought during that summer, hey, I'll, I'll come over to the Shaman Diner, you know? And of course, I got my sandwich that I always get. All right, let's take a look at this. Look at all the goodness in there. Look, you got the egg, you got the sausage, and then you top it off with the cheese. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's it. Amazing, dude. You gotta come have this. Oh, it was terrific. Shaman Diner definitely had the best uh, sandwich of all, c compared to all those other places that I went to. Come on down here, you'll see what I mean. It's tops. Mm -hmm.